okay so let, let us go ahead and do this kind of work here we have expansion of the form a plus b bracket c plus d we've done it before let us do it now and see how it looks okay so uh, let's take an example um expand the following so let's take this expand the following number one we have um, 2 plus 3, 3, we have 2x plus 3, okay, bracket 3y plus 4. Let us solve this. I, I, initially, we learned that if you have a bracket here, then let's show the bracket, the bracket here. Then everything in front will multiply it if there is no sign. Okay, but not, nothing in front of this. We have this bracket and we have another bracket altogether. So these two, how would they go? So it means that this 3y plus 4 will be multiplied by 2x plus 3. There's nothing in between. Therefore, this will multiply this. So it's a kind of writing 2x plus 3 times 3y plus 4. So in this case, the, the multiplication is not a straight uh, forward something. We are going to do it the simplest way. Okay, so let's go ahead. So now, what we are going to do is, the first um, term here, which is 2x, will multiply everything here. Okay, so let's go ahead and do it. 2x times 3y we have 2 times 3 6 x times y xy good then 2x will multiply plus 4 we have plus plus this is 2 is plus you know that plus times 2 times 4 8 then you bring down x 2x plus 4 2x times plus 4 will give you plus 8x done okay the second part will be the one of uh, the plus 3. So plus 3 will go ahead to multiply. So we take plus 3 to do the work now, plus 3. So plus 3 multiply again. It will go the same way that 2s went. Okay. So plus times plus, you know, this is plus here. So plus 3 times 3y, three, 3 times 3, 9. You put down y. Okay. Plus times plus, you have plus. For 3 times 4, we give you 12. Okay, so I put them in separate colors so that you understand what has happened. Right, so we have 6xy plus 8x plus 9y plus 12. And that's it. You've done it. You've done it. That is how you do it. So you don't need to... Uh, we start drawing it one one like primary school purpose so you'll be able to do this because you're mature now all right let's uh, take another example we take this one number two we take um let me get a question here okay 2x minus 4 in bracket okay then we have x minus 3. Let's show you back it. Okay, there is no nothing in between. So we we need to take the 2x minus 4 to multiply uh, x minus 3. Remember, the first one will go into multiplying all. Then the second one will now come in and multiply all as well. So 2x will go ahead to multiply. 2x times x, remember I say when you have x times x, you need to, sorry, x times x, okay? You need to write down x, count it, 1, 2, you put 2 here, okay? 2x times x should give you 2x squared, yeah, you know that? Then 2x times minus 3 give you minus 6x. Good, then we are done 2x 
has finished its work on this bracket. So it is now the time for minus 4 to go and do its own work. So minus 4 will multiply x to give you minus 4x. Minus 4 will multiply minus 3. Oh, this one is minus times minus. So that will give us plus. 4 times 3 will give us 12. Good. Okay, in this case, we have um, something minus 6x and minus 4x. They look alike. So we'll put them together. So we have 2x squared minus 4x minus 6x minus 4x will give us minus 10x. You remember minus this minus that put them together and your answer be as minus okay plus 12 good so we are done with this very simple you just take it step by step if you take it step by step you don't make a mistake so let's go to the third question example and then move ahead so we have example three let me get different color Example 3. In this our example 3, we have. Okay, let's use this one. Five D minus four. Five D minus four. Bracket five D minus six. Okay, then in this case, there's these two, there's 5D and minus 4 will do their work on 5D minus 6. There's nothing in between, therefore, so all these will multiply this. So we have 5D times 5D, 5 times 5, 25, D times D, D squared. Good, then 5D will multiply minus 6. If 5D is positive, you know that. So plus times minus first to give you minus. 5 times 6 will give you 30. Then you bring down D. Then 4D will go and do its own work. Minus 4 times plus 5D. So minus times plus will give you minus. 4 times 5 will give you 20. Right? Then 4 you have d to bring down sorry bring down d. so minus 4 will now do that work on minus 6 I have minus 4 times minus 6 will give you plus 24 because minus times minus will give you plus okay we still remember it all right so we have minus 30 d and the minus 20 d they look alike so what i'm going to do is I have 25 d squared minus this minus that i put them together and write minus okay 20d 30d and 20d will give me 50d so i'll write minus 50d plus 24. all right this is we are will come to an end of this form of um, expansion uh, algebraic expression that is the one of a plus b times c plus d all right Hello. So before we talk about uh, factorization in algebraic terms, we are going to first um, discuss factors and multiples of algebraic terms. So factors and multiples of algebraic terms. Okay. So what are the factors? What does uh, factor mean? Or a factor? What does it mean? So factors of a number divide the number without remainder for example we have a number say 12 okay what are the factors of 12 factors of 12 are those numbers that can divide 12 without remainder okay so the factors are factors are one one can divide 12 to give you 12 two can divide 12 to give you 6. I think 3 can divide 12 to give you 4. 4 can divide 12 to give you 3. 6 can divide 12 to give you 2. And then 12 can divide itself to give you 1. Alright, 
these are the factors of 12 then it means that 12 is the multiple of all these numbers okay 12 is also a multiple of each of these factors okay so let us now this we are talking about numbers now let's talk about the right terms okay um remember that the way there are ways we can simply get this using um, what do you call it uh, division line like this okay but we are not talking about that one now so we have something like uh let's take 12 a b 12 a b what are the factors of 12 a b so the factors of 12 a b would be all this one two three four six twelve and we then go ahead and put a is a factor b is a factor because a can divide 12 b to give you 12 a b to give you 12 b and b can divide 12 a b to give you 12 a okay now we will now start adding a b we divide okay we have uh, 2 a 2 b sorry 2b we have um, 3b 4b 5b oh, 4b b 5b sorry not 5b 6b forgive me 6b um, uh, 12b okay then we talk about uh, I've written 2a here, so we have 3b, 3a, 4a, 6a, 12a. Also, we have um, 2ab, 3ab, 4ab, 6ab, and then 12ab. Okay, these are the factors of 12 ab and 12 ab is the multiple of all these factors okay now we are not going to talk or dwell much on it but just for you to understand that any number that can divide any term here or number that can divide this term 12 ab is a factor of 12 ab and then 12 ab becomes a multiple of such number or such uh, terms as well okay so let's go ahead and use it to do uh, some work here we are going to find common factors and the highest common factor in each of the following common factors and the highest common factor in each of the following so that is when we are going to use this uh, division stuff like that okay so let's go ahead and need the space have space here okay so let's go ahead now example of the work we do example find the common factors and then the highest common factor in each of the following All right, so let us now take this um, examples and deal with them. So we have um, uh, example one, we have one here. We have uh, 12a, 15b, and 24c. So we are going to deal with this one first. 
so we are, well, what we need to do is just draw the line and then start solving them. Okay. We have here. Okay. So we have this is our solution side. We have um, 12a, comma 15. Oh, we don't have enough space here. So let's shift a bit. So we have 12a, we have 15b, and then we have 24c. Okay. Now let us let me remove the the comma fifteen b. Okay, let us now look for a number that can divide through. Remember that we are not talking about factors. We are not talking about multiple. We are just talking about factors. So any number that cannot divide through, we are not going to use it to divide, right? So we talk that one can always divide to give us the same. So we keep one aside for now. Let's take a number like 2. Can 2 divide? 2 will divide 12, but it will not divide 15. So we're not going to use 2 to do this work. So let us use um, 3. Okay, let's three, 3 can go. 3 divides 12 will give us 6. We have 6a here. 3 divides 15 will give us 5. We have 5b here. 3 divides 24 will give us 8. We have 8c. What again can divide? Uh, nothing again can divide and letters cannot divide so what we have here the, the factors are factors are 1 and 3 but then the highest common factor sorry common factor please common factors then the highest common factors factor is three three is bigger than one okay now understand what just happened we are look we are looking for common factors the one that can divide through remember us that is how we do it in our hcf in numbers only so you, if you have 12 15 24 you look for numbers that can divide through so you can't just say 2 divide because 2 cannot divide 15 and you can just say 4 divide because 4 cannot divide 15 so 5 divide 5 cannot divide 12 or so, things like that so but then you have 3 that can divide through so 3 will divide what again can divide the second one that's 6a 5b and it's nothing therefore you don't divide again so remember that 1 is a factor of all numbers factor of all terms so now you say that the factors, common factors are one and the three, but the highest one is three. That is how this works. Okay, let's go to number two question. We have number two. Let's pick another question. We have 15 A, B, C, 12 B, C, D, and 18 A, D, E. Okay, we have 15 a, B, C, comma, 12, B, C, D, comma, and uh, 18, A, D, E. 18, A, D, E. Okay, let's have space here so we'll be able to do this one very well. Okay, I'm going to draw my line. Let me draw my line. Here, okay. I have 15 A, B, C, then I have 12 B, C, D, and finally I have 18 A, D, E. Wow, okay. okay this is 12 B, C, D. Let me write it there. Okay, so what would divide? Let's start with number, okay. 2, you cannot divide 15. 3, 3 can go. You have 3 to divide 15, give you 5. Bring down A, B, C. Then 3 divides 12 will give you 4. Bring down B, C, D. 3 divides 18 will give you 
uh, 6 bring down ADE. Okay, what again can divide? No number can divide again. So let's take uh, alphabet. Can A divide? A can go here, it cannot go here, it cannot go, it can go here. So it cannot go here, so it's not a common factor. The common factor must go through all of them. So let's be B go. B can go here, go here, but cannot go here. So B is not good. Let's see go. Let's see can go here, go here, but cannot go here. So we have only three. Therefore, the factors are our common factors. One and three. Let me write it very well. One and three. But the highest common factor is three. Okay, the highest common factor is three. We can go ahead and solve with so many problems like this and um, see. Okay, let's take this last one, number three. We have 21AB squared. AB squared, comma, we have 28ABC and we have 42ABC squared. 42ABC squared. Okay, let us uh, draw our line here. Let's draw our line here. Okay, we have 21AB squared. We have 28ABC, we have 42ABC squared. Now, it's only B that is squared here. A is not squared. And here is only C that is squared. A and B, they are not squared here. Okay, let's go ahead. Can 2 divide? No, 2 cannot divide 21 without remainder. Can 3 divide? 3 can divide 21. You have 7 divide 28. You have um, what? It can't divide 28. Assuming this is 27, it will go, but it can't here. Okay, what next do we do? What next do we do? Can we try 7? Seven? 7 can divide 21 to give you 3, divide 28 to give you 4, then divide 42 to give you 6. Right, because 49 will be 7. Okay, so this will be 6. So we have um, 7 to divide. 7 divides 21, you have 3, so 3ab three squared. 7 divides 28, you have 4abc. 7 divides 42, you have 6abc squared. Okay, what number can divide again? No number, no number can that divide through here. So let us go to alphabet. A can divide here, divide here, divide here. So A can go. So A divides. You have 3b squared, a divided here, you have 4bc, a divided here, you have 6bc squared. Okay, let's see if b can go, b can go here, go here, okay. So b divides, you have 3, it will take 1b away, remaining 1b. Then 4c, then b divides again, you have 6c squared. All right. What again can divide? Nothing because C is not here, so C cannot divide. B is only here, it's not here. So we have the common factors. As 1, 7, A, B. Okay. Even um, you can now combine the, this thing, all the, uh, the letters here you have can have also a b they are common uh, factors you can also have uh, 7 a you have 7 b and you have also 7 a b these are common factors you have in this okay but then what is the highest common factor this last one 7 a b so a c f is equal to 7a. That is how to do it. It's as simple as that. 
So let's quickly go to the next topic, the main factorization of algebraic expression. <laughs>